Assalamualaikum. In this video, we will discuss examples of multiple choice questions about pharmacokinetics. And now let us discuss the first question. The question, the nurse is teaching the patient about a newly prescribed medication. Which statement made by the patient would indicate the need for further medication education? This means that one answer is false. The first option, the liquid form of the drug will be absorbed faster than the tablets. The second option, if I take more, I'll have a better response. Third option, taking this drug with food will decrease how much drug gets into my system. And the last option, I can consult my healthcare provider if I experience unexpected adverse effects. The correct answer is number two. Although taking a large dose of a medication usually results in a greater therapeutic response, the response also depends on the drug's plasma concentration. If a toxic level is reached from too large a dose, the drug will have adverse effects instead, instead of a better therapeutic response. While options 1, 3, and 4 are incorrect because they are true statements, the liquid form of the drug will be absorbed faster than its tablet form. Food decreases the absorption rate of most drugs. Patients should always consult a healthcare provider if unexpected adverse effects develop. Second question. The nurse is caring for several patients. Which patient will be the nurse anticipate is most likely to experience an alteration in drug metabolism? The first option, a three-day-old premature infant. Second option, 22-year-old pregnant woman. Third option, a 32-year-old man with kidney stones. And finally, a 50-year-old executive with hypertension. The correct answer is one. Infants don't develop a mature microsomal enzyme system until they are, they are a year old and therefore don't metabolize drugs very efficiently. While option two, three, and four are incorrect, pregnancy does not significantly affect drug metabolism. The concern with pregnant patients is primarily focused on alterations in distribution due to the fatal placental barrier. The presence of kidney stones would not influence drug metabolism. Hypertension is not a factor that directly results in abnormal metabolism. The third of the question, the patient is receiving multiple medications, including one drug specifically used to stimulate gastric peristalsis. The nurse knows that this drug could have what influence on additional oral medications. The first option, increased absorption. Second option, reduced excretion. Third option, decreased absorption. And fourth option, enhanced distribution. The correct answer is option number three. Peristalsis is the wave-like muscular contraction of the gastrointestinal tract that propels stomach and spinal, intestinal contents through the system. An increase in this activity would decrease the time that drug would remain in the GI system and therefore decrease absorption. While options 1, 2, and 4 are incorrect, excretion for most drugs occurs mostly through the kidneys, lungs, and glands. Peristalsis would not reduce excretion of medications. A delay in peristalsis would prolong absorption time, and peristalsis is not involved in the distribution of drugs to their target sites.
Now, the fourth question. A patient is being discharged from the hospital with the nebulizer for self-administration of inhalation medication. Which statement made by the patient indicates to the near that patient education has been successful? The first statement, inhaled medications should only be taken in the morning. Second statement, doses for inhaled medication are larger than those taken orally. For three, third statement, medicines taken by inhalation produce a very rapid response. And fourth statement, inhaled drugs are often rendered inactive by hepatic metabolic reactions. The correct answer is number three, inhaled drug produce an immediate therapeutic response. While options one, two, and four are incorrect, inhaled medication cannot be used at any time during the day and is not restricted to the morning. Doses for inhaled drug are small compared to oral ingested medications, and because these drugs go directly to the lung, sur to the lung surface area and are really absorbed, very little of the response is lost due to metabolism. The fifth question The nurse is cared for a patient with hepatitis and resulting hepatic impairment. The nurse would expect the duration of action for most medication to decrease or improve or be unaffected or final option increase. The best answer is option number four. The length of time a drug concentration remains in the therapeutic range is its duration of action. Patients with hepatic impairment don't effectively metabolize drugs, which increases the duration of action. While options 1, 2, and 3 are incorrect, in patients with hepatic disease, the duration of action most likely will increase since drug metabolism is impaired. Although the duration of action is extended, the effects of drug are not improved. Here, please comment your answer. The question is, the nurse is monitoring the therapeutic drug level for a patient on vancomycin. It's a type of antibiotic, vancosine, and notes that the level is within the accepted range. What does this indicate to the nurse? Here, there is more than one answer. Please select all that apply. The first option, the drug should cause no toxicities or adverse effects. Second option, the drug level is appropriate to exert therapeutic effects. Third option, the dose will not need to be changed for the duration of treatment. Fourth option, the nurse will need to continue monitoring because each patient response to a drug is unique. And the last option, the drug will effectively treat the patient's condition. Uh, I will be happy if I see your comments. Uh, thank you. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.